Well, let's start with the new album. Um, you guys just released it uh, a, a little bit ago, uh, but mm-hmm. you released it not long after going into the studio. What's it like to record your first your first record? Any surprises in the process? Yeah, this was actually um, so. Yeah, this is our first full length studio album. Um, it was a very very different process than we had ever been through before. Um, we did an EP a couple years ago, and that was done in St. Louis. Uh, then we did a live album. Um, but this one was so different in that we got approached by a, um, a producer from New York who um, has a very specific process, the way he the way he produces and records bands. And so he's got this um, pretty beautiful 20 acre uh, spread in uh, near Bristol, uh, Connecticut, right near ESPN. Hmm. And you when you when you go when he records you, you go stay in the house on the property And then he's got a recording studio on the property. And so every morning, you know, you kind of roll on down there, you caffeinate and roll on down there. And then we would spend, you know, 10 hours in the studio with him for about five straight days and knocked out 10 songs. So it was um, it was a pretty intensive process, but it, it was also compacted. So it wasn't like we were at it for months and months and months. So we went in there. We had been playing these songs for a while, probably a year or two. And and a bunch of them are actually on our live record, but they sound pretty different. Um, And I think what changed was, you know, I had sent him all 10 songs beforehand and wanting to make sure that he was down with those those songs and how we played them. But he also had his own visualization for what these songs could ultimately be under his tutelage for lack of a better term and so there were certain things we were altering whether it was a guitar riff here and there or whether it was um a vocal melody or even uh adding in uh small little things like you know tambourine or what have you uh after the fact um and so they they took a different shape and then lastly we did uh all all four of us in the band were there we did record two things after the fact uh jimmy wallace who's a this he's a grammy nominated um uh, piano player in nashville he um overdubbed keys on there and yeah. uh did such an amazing job kind of giving it somewhere between honky tonk and this bob seeger feel <laughs> um and it's it's uh, honestly some of my favorite parts of the record ironically the one part we didn't play uh <laughs> And then we did back. We did do backing vocals in St. Louis. Uh, I sat with the uh, with a woman named Spencer Harris who um, uh, did the backing vocals, and she was really terrific. But um, yeah, they, so so they were kind of the same songs. But Greg definitely had his vision for for how he wanted them to be recorded at the end. Yeah, it sounds like uh, it, when you were talking about the spread, and you go and kind of stay on the property. It, Reminded me of a lot of the like, you know, the Led Zeppelin stuff when they'd go out to Wales and, you know, stay in the cabins and stuff like that. What What did you learn from working with a producer like that that maybe you've picked up that you'll you've put in the back of your mind to say, the next time we go in the studio, I'm going to do this this way, or you know, what, what's what'd you pick up? You know, that, that's interesting in that I think it's really more than anything, it's really important to have someone who is much much smarter than you at the helm. And, um, we've got, uh, out, not in myself, not included. We have, a um, three, I think pretty talented musicians in the band. Um, and, uh, but having Greg there who is a terrific musician and he's worked with, um, you know, some some pretty impressive people like touring with Alanis Morissette and the Allman brothers, uh, and, um, producing Amy Ray from the, uh, from the Indio girls, um, having someone like him who is kind of just looking over our shoulder and has this kind of parallel vision with us. And he also really, really understood us. I think that was probably the most important thing is that he, he knew what we were before we went in there with him. Um, and so I think that, um, having someone who really got what we were trying to achieve and had a, had a, a good positive impression of us going in, I thought was a really great aspect of it. 